All right, hanging out in Frankenmuth 2023, last auto fest of the year with my girl back to help me clean down the monster tonight. We get one last look at the cars when nobody's here because they left the whole place alone to us tonight. Oh, who let that guy in? But we cleaned her up. She's looking good. Who washed the tires? Becky washed the tires with her new pants. Yeah, let's take a quick walk around real quick. Three slant six, six cylinders. Check this thing out. Talked to this guy for a while tonight. Nice guy. Nice wife too. That's a beast right there. Yeah, let's walk around real quick. I'll show you what some of the favorite ones I loved. Mustang. Oh, he's got to love the Willys. My favorite car in the world. Love this one back. If you look, the engine, where they faded the color from the purple all the way back to the blue. This is a nice one, too. It's got a nice dash on it. I watched this one. I texted her. I videoed this one earlier. He's got a 57 Chevy dashboard inside this. And I love the interior. Check that out. Oh, I can barely see it from the side. Such a cool car. Yep, in the truck. Oh, they pulled out. Now, there it is. This is my second favorite to the Black 33. This one's called Incision. Doesn't have the lights on it right now. Oh, this car is so gorgeous. This car is so beautiful. Come look at the interior on this. Look at the dash and the colors the way he did this. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, look at the paint on it and everything. It says incision on the back and the lights. Wait a minute, what does that say? 6,800, 68, 707. Oh, it's a 68 with 707 horsepower. That's gorgeous. That's my second fave. I like the judge. My you know, buddy John Jordan back there loved this one. GT500, the fire truck, Charger. He was the last one to come in tonight. Love this. If you like dual engines, you'll love this one. How crazy that is. Look, look at how beautiful that is. What a beautiful car. Yep, and this I would say was my third favorite tonight. an LS as usual in the white truck and then we come up to my absolute favorite car tonight oh the 33 all oh, one off I talked to this guy for about a half an hour he said it 14 years and like literally everything look spindle rims that are bolted on from the inside it said it took them like a year just to do that one panel right there with a the bend on it He's got all these on his gauges, everything custom done inside. It's got a removable top that you take off from that bar right there underneath, which attaches up top and holds the top on. And the back top comes off just like a Corvette. Yeah, this thing's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, baby, I tell you, I would, I would, I would give up my car for this. Now watch this one. This will blow you away. Check out the dash on this check this out comes down from there loops around and goes up wow. almost like a tongue or That's something crazy. in the back with ostrich insets on it but look at that now his gauges are in the middle oh I love it what a beautiful car and Mustangs oh look another Camaro <laughs> in the truck with the tilt and we missed, oh, we gotta go see Lou and Tony's cars in the back first. We rode with these guys today down to the parade. This is a car that he built with his dad, sold it to his best friend. Absolutely love this. Beautiful orange, even the way the pipes have turned the right color. What a gorgeous car, yep. He's got this up for sale right now for 65, which I think is every bit worth. Custom interior, beautiful dash, 
shaved door handles tubbed up in the back that's a beast man this thing's got to weigh 85,000 pounds what a beautiful car yeah 65 he'll get it he'll get it and that's it Becky likes the orange one all right and that was it We're the last ones here going home Friday night last thing who invited this guy who invited this guy and that's it we're out say bye mama <laughs>